I served in Abuja. While I was serving, I now decided to say, you know what, let me, why don't I try seeing if I could get a job in, in multinational companies, you know, that would aid my international law. Because I knew from day one I, I would excel in any job that puts me in front of people. And I now decided, you know what, what would it take me to, apart from having to work in international organizations, I knew I had a passion for hair. I love anything that had to do with being beautiful, hair, clothes, whatever. So I now said, I mean, having lived in Port Harcourt, growing up in Port Harcourt, where you have a lot of braiding salon, I now thought about it, but I thought about the captain, and I'm like, mm, I don't have money to do that. I mean, I'm just a copper, and I'm being paid 800 naira, so, you know, I kind of put that in the back burner. So while I was waiting, I had an aunt that um, used to sell, had a boutique, used to sell clothes and all that. I used to visit her and all that. So she, on this particular um, year, 1998, just when I had just finished my youth service, she, in February, she said, ah, if, why don't you come and help me sell my Valentine out, um, um, presents? I'm like, ah, Valentine outfit. I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, how do I go about it? I don't have a store. How do I do it? But because they were beautiful, and I said, you know what? Let me take them. Let me start with my friends that were working already in banks. I had, ba I had offers to work in banks, but I knew that I wasn't cut out for the normal day-to-day, -day, every day you know, straight jacket, being told what to wear, what to do. I needed a place where I could express myself. So I said, okay, let me start with my friends that, that are working in the bank. I went, took my stuff, Valentina um, gift, took it to them. They looked at it. Everybody loved them. Absolutely beautiful, nicely packed up. So I made record sales for three days, at least half a million naira, and she was excited. So the third thing that came to mind was, why don't you start a salon? You've always talked about braids. You came from Port Harcourt, where braids is very common. I mean, every street you have like two or three braiding shops in Port Harcourt. And I'm like, well, that sounds like a good idea. At least from this business, I'll be able to buy the other things. I can get a house, I can pay for a car. So I started thinking about that idea. Why don't I start a style? So I went out, did my market survey, got a shop in Gariki to for 150 for two years. A year was 75,000. And I said, okay, fine. Maybe if I get a, house, a, a shop, pay for two years, then I can go back to Port Harcourt. At least I know where to get manpower. I know where to get the girls to start up the business. So I paid for the place. The remaining money, I was able to get a very cheap house. There was some house just down the road from the salon. I paid for the house. I paid about 30,000 naira. Then I now added one or two other few things. Did this uh, mirrors, everything for my salon. Then I, then I had this passion. I, I, I love clothes. I love creating stuff. You know, so I, I had this, my personal tailor that used to sew stuff, come to the house, pick up fabrics and all that. And one day he now said to me, why don't you start a fashion line? Now this is my own tailor, illiterate and all. And I'm like, ah, fashion line care. He said, yeah. I said, no, I'm already here, I have a salon. He said, no, anytime I, I do the designs you give to me, people, when I put it up, people always say, ah, where did you do the design and all that? He's just encouraging me. Why don't I just do something? He thinks I'll do well in that. I'm like, really? He said, yes. I now thought about it. In my mind, I just did a mental calculation. Oh, I'll probably need like 1.5 million, 2 million, 3 million to start up a business. The man said, look, oh, if you're interested, oh, there's one place. It will say to a flare salon. The woman is an excellent housewife. She's renting a space for 60,000 naira for three months. A month is 2,000. She wants off front of three months payment. She has this uh, sewing machine and all that. Why don't you, you know, go and take up the place and get one or two tailors? And immediately, what rank was 60,000 Naira? Eh, okay, 60,000 Naira is not a bad idea for me to start a business with. I'm like, okay, 60,000 Naira, I can afford to sacrifice 60,000 Naira. Okay, fine. Let me use this 60,000 Naira and go. So I went to the place, checked out the place. Fantastic, they had generator, everything. I'm like, okay. She showed me the little corner, one like cubicle kind of with only two machines. I looked at it, I'm like, what's my own? Let me just start. At least it's something I'm passionate about. And I called my tailor. Sadiq is his name. And I said, ah, why don't you, let's do the, a partnership. Why don't you be my tailor? You can bring, you You know how to get tailors. I will be the entrepreneur of the business. I will bring, since I already have a platform of a salon, I can bring in people. He said, okay, we started the business. So um, we needed to sign a form with the, the owner of the place. And now we now started thinking of a name. He now said, ah, he doesn't know of any name. More. He's, he's uh, by the side uh, tailoring outfit does not have a name. So I'm like, no, this has to have a name because it's a fashion label. So okay, I should come up with a name. So I thought about it. But the only thing I kept registering was Ogodo. So now I went to meet my artist, my, the guy that does my flyers. And I said, okay, is there any way we can write it, you know, aesthetics, you know, give it some, make it look funky. 
I would like to do the O apostrophe G O D O R. Then immediately I saw it. He did it very nicely with you know models and all that. Immediately the word jumped out was Oh God. Then I came up with the slogan, the power of creativity. And that was it. Ogodo was born. So today, Ogodo, it's a household name. This is a business I started with 60,000 naira. My name is Ifoma Anyao, CEO of Strands and Ogodo. For my story, it is absolutely clear beyond every reasonable doubt that you don't need a million to start your business.